what happens to our thoughts? Do they dissolve into the past or something different? Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth Fleck and in today's video I want to speak about what happens to our thoughts and why it's important to learn to be aware and conscious of our own thinking because our thoughts, they do not just go into the past, they get projected into the future and materialize in our life so we can experience them in this reality. So that's why it's very important to be conscious of our thoughts, acknowledge what we're thinking about because it's gonna be projected into the future for us to experience it in real life. So what gets imprinted on the unconscious mind gets projected into our outer reality, which comes back as people, circumstances, situations, and we experience it and we forget this. We forget a lot. We always, you know, human beings are very forgetful of our own thoughts and what we are manifesting. So when the harvest of our thoughts come into our life, we don't recognize it. And we're like, how can this be happening to me? But really, maybe a month ago or a year ago, we were dwelling in a, a state of consciousness that wasn't, you know, aligned for the highest good. You know, maybe we were arguing with someone in our mind. Maybe we were having ill thought about people or a situation or had anxiety or depression worrying about something, which therefore gets projected into the future and comes back at us as the situation, circumstance, an event. So this is why we meditate. This is why we learn to get still and become the observer of our thoughts instead of get, giving the emotion or charge to thoughts. So because your emotions charge things. It's like a magnet, you know, there's fear and love. They're the biggest magnets when you go to make a decision. Is it out of fear or is it out of love? Are you doing it because you're fearful of the circumstances of what's going to happen or are you going to do it because you are doing it out of love and compassion and kindness? It's a good question to ask before we make any decision. Is this out of fear or love? Or our thoughts, are we thinking these thoughts out of fear or love? Because what we fear, we attract. What we love, we attract. They're both big magnets. But yeah, our thoughts get projected into the future and come back to us. So remember this. When you are thinking, if it's negative or positive, be aware, be conscious of your thoughts. Learn to observe, learn to get still. Observe your thoughts. What am I thinking? What are my thinking patterns? Are you aware of your thoughts from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed? Or are you going unconscious into this weird daydream where you're just creating random stuff? Learn to, it's a very powerful tool that I found myself to have reaped massive benefits from eliminating the negative thoughts, being able to discern them as not truth, and then replacing them with new positive, uplifting thoughts and emotions like joy, love, peace, happiness, success, wealth, prosperity, abundance. Um, get your vocabulary of positive words up. Go through the alphabet A B C D E F G H I J K L M F K R S T U V yeah, but with each letter, A abundance, B beautiful, C courageous, D delicious, delightful. Um, good way to learn new way, positive words, so we can recondition the mind with positive words instead of the old dwelling negativity that's been kindred, kindred, conditioned onto us. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. Your thoughts do not dissolve into the past. They go into your future and come back to you so you can experience them in the present moment, which there is only the present moment, but we'll just use the concept of future and past just for understanding's sake. Um, I love you. My name is Gareth Fleck. Have a look at this graph. Only 30% are subscribed out of 70% of my viewers. <laughs> Hit the button, it's free. And it helps other people see this kind of content. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I love interacting with you. And peace be on your soul. And enjoy your life. Goodbye.